Hey, everybody, it's Victor. It's time for Random Tainted Run Day here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. I hope you all are ready. Some people were a little bit sad that I didn't finish off the Mega Stan fight yesterday, but honestly, I was quite over it. So today, we are going to be making sure that we fight Mega Satan no matter what character we get from Random Tainted Run Day. So thank you all very much for the support. I hope your weekends were awesome. Hopefully, you're enjoying some football and uh, we're just having a great lazy Sunday. Also, a uh, special saying here, because I forgot to mention it the other day, uh, Monster Hunter Now is out. Uh, so I'm going to be playing that. I am going to be setting up a channel. If I haven't already, uh, I probably already have at the time of this, at the time of this episode going live on here on Sunday. Uh, but I will be opening up a channel in the Discord for anyone who's playing Monster Hunter Now. It's essentially Monster Hunter, but like Pokemon Go style. So it looks pretty interesting. I'm really like, excited to try it out. So I just wanted to say that just because I forgot to talk about it on yesterday's episode. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Painter DND W40K. Title of the thread was episode 802. Meme didn't raise no meme didn't raise no fool. If you give Sinvicta a cookie, he'll say, Mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> I mean for a Play-Doh cookie, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have that. Give me a real cookie. Thank you very much, Painter and everyone who upvoted that one. All right. Here we go, random tainted run day. Again, we are gonna be, it's guaranteed we're gonna go straight to, Me well, not straight to Mega Satan, obviously, but we are going to go to Mega Satan no matter what. I don't care what, I don't care what character we get. I don't care what kind of run we got. We are going to be going to Mega Satan. Just, is, we're going to Mega Satan. So let's see if we can maybe not get tainted uh, Maggie or tainted Lilith this time around. Uh, especially tainted Maggie, cause that would just be just awful. And we got tainted Lilith again. <laughs> Uh, I mean, look, I don't control the rant. You all see me doing the randoms. Uh, CJ is going to be CDib66J0. Well, this is two tainted run days in a row that we've gotten Lilith. Um, if restarting the run didn't... Uh, ooh, we'll take Quince. If restarting the run, if we were allowed to restart the run without it, like, affecting the win streak at all, like, obviously, like, I would just, re just redo it. Um, but... Can't do that. So we're playing a stand Lilith today. We're going to Mega Stand. But you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe if this run does uh, does complete sooner than later, then you know we might, we might do another one. Maybe. I don't know. I'm in a I'm in a good mood. I did get some some good sleep the other day, and uh, the other day as in like yesterday for me. This, this would be another day for you all. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I thought that you were super dead. I need Epiphora. Oh, man. Epiphora plus Jello. We all remember what happened the last time we got this combo with Brimstone and Sacred Heart. Oh, boy. Epiphora on Jello for, for Tainted Lilith is absolutely goaded. I will say that right now. It is absolutely positively goaded here. Um, we do get enough to get a bomb, so I would love to get Red Stew. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, might as well try. Go up to 12 cents here. Only 3 cents left. For us to get red stew it would be it would be really nice in the early going here but yeah monster hunter now is a uh it's it's niantic doing monster hunter this time so they they're moving away well i don't know if they're moving away from pokemon go but it's now in monster hunter form and i'm like pretty actually kind of stoked to doing it um i'll share everyone my friend code and stuff on the uh, on the discord and everything as well because we did actually have if you didn't know we did have a a pokemon go discord channel where we were doing raiding and stuff uh, back before Niantic, like, you know, destroyed, you know, groups and that sort of thing with the, with the uh, increased, uh, increased cost of the Pokemon Go uh, rating tickets. We're not going to go for the Devil here, Devil Deal here, obviously, again, because we're going to be going for, uh, we're, we're going to be going for Angel Deals, because obviously we want to go fight Mega Stan. But I think that'd be a it'd be a good a good way to, to hang out with the mosh pit, all, but also allowing me to uh, it gives me it gives me more motivation to to get outside and like you know and you know just just be active and sometimes that's all you need. We're gonna get ourselves a nice little tears up and also get the crooked penny, which uh, let's just say the crooked penny has not been kind to us the last couple of times we've had it. So going on to last week's question of the episode, of course that was another tainted Lilith run and. Uh, you know, I would I would have preferred not to have another Tainted Lilith run today, but again, there's not really much I can do about that. Uh, but it was the, the glitched item. That was Epic Fetus that turned into a glitched item. By the way, if you don't know what just happened there, that is uh, that is the effect of TM Trainer.
Coupon would be infinitely better than the, uh, than the Crooked Penny. I'm looking for a full charge here, game. Okay, well, I mean, one that we can buy, but maybe Cardio Coin can hook us up. And maybe we can get some bombs out of that. But going on to last week's question of the episode, which was, of course, another Tainted Lilith run. I said, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how impressed were you with the teleporter? Of course, that was the Beam Me Up episode, which was really, really, really insanely fun. Um, and I've never I've never seen teleporter perform like that. And the most upvoted comment here was from that, that guy, Ryan, 1839, who said, I give it a solid 9, working like a makeshift Emperor card, to uh, teleporter really looking like the MVP. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was just an incredible amount of effort. Like we like in football. Hey, look at that! In football, we talk about like second effort, um, and that cert and like teleporter went above and beyond. Like that was like a second and third effort. They're really making the big time plays. And uh, yeah, I'd give it. I'd definitely give it a nine or a ten because I mean, it saved us a lot of, of heartache on that run. Uh, the next most upvoted comment came in from uh, Austin Harold, 7045. Okay, let's stop getting hit by, by Peep here. Uh, okay, we got stuck by ladder. And yeah, we're just going to keep getting hit by Peep just because I guess that's just what we do in this room. Get Crack Jacks. And yeah, you... I mean... Like... Cricket Penny, you've already, you've already, he gave us two soul hearts and that's fine, but we've already lost them to, to peep. So no. you're, you're done. You're done here. I'd rather, I'd rather have the HP generator because we're going to need them, especially if we're going to fight Mega Stanley here. We need to get some more damage, obviously. Our damage is okay for now, but it's going to be wearing off towards the, uh, towards the end part. And we might as well take a missing page too, just because it gives us a little temporary ne Necronomicon. And curse the blind. Uh, anyway, Austin Harold last week said, "I'd on a scale of one to ten, I'd say a seven. I find it to be less reliable. Uh, I find it to be a less reliable teleport card uh, in the shape of an active item." And yeah, you know, I I I agree with that because I mean that's just well, that's just what it is. Like it's just a it's it's a non-targeted teleport. <laughs> like it's just gonna take you to a random a random area, but. Uh, with the uh, with the incredible amount of uh, of time and, and space that it saved us uh, on that run, I would definitely say that it warrants a little bit more a little bit more than just a like you know a seven. I I, I, I don't know. I, I was I was really impressed with how well that it was performing on that run, and uh, so I might be a little bit biased in that, but yeah, I, I think the teleporter it was a, a seven was would be the bare minimum grade I would say. And last but not least, we also had. Um, uh, divisor who said I give it a nine the double womb and chest skip skip cut at least let's try that again the double womb and chest skip cut at least 15 minutes off of this run yeah and, and that's the, that's the thing too the efficiency that we were we were able to gain from just simply going straight to the bosses was just huge on that and it's a safety thing too had a nine tails and it's sensor item that really really causes a stink no matter no matter what opinion you have of it there are a lot of people who uh, think that i'm off base with my criticisms on the item and uh, even though i talked about it last weekend where or last week i should say about uh, you know i understand why people enjoy sensor i still would rather not have sensor A couple other people talking about uh, teleporter, how you know they they never ever see that kind of luck, whenever they pick up teleporter, and and I'm I'm right with you there, brother. I I have never seen teleporter do what it did last week, and it, that's what made it so so surprising, but also kind of kind of refreshing that it became like this sort of really easily reliable uh, item to be like, you know what? I think this is a. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I, I, this is like an automatic boss skip. Like, I, I just know it. I know it in my bones. And that's exactly what we did, essentially. Like uh, like Dennis said on the uh, on the chest in the womb, it, it, we literally just went straight to the bosses, and that's just so nice.
Uh, people were mentioning that sensor did save us from a couple of hits there. And uh, again, uh, like, I get why people like sensor. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm more accustomed to dodging shots at full speed than I am with them slowing down and creating this sort of like makeshift wall that you kind of have to navigate through and around. Um, it's not always going to be helpful. Bit surprised the secret room's not there. But uh, it, it's, I mean, that's the thing about Isaac is that you can have many different opinions about, about different items and people are going to disagree with you. That's fine. As long as everyone's respectful about it, that's all I really care about. At the end of the day, everyone's got an opinion. None of them are right and none of them are wrong. Grab this golden key here as we probably are going towards the shop, I'm guessing. We are just blazing right through this run. I mean, hey, look, at least you don't have to watch a... This tainted, this tainted Lilith run should be pretty fast. Like, we're going to go... I probably will go maybe Dark Path, depending on... Oh, <laughs> depending on what we get here. Uh, I'm going to save that for now. That charge key for now, just in case we end up finding an opportunity to use our HP. And then we'll go back and use the Book of Revelations for two uh, Soul Hearts. Obviously, with Keeper Sack, that's going to provide us with a nice little stat boosting engine. Hold on to the Empress card for now. We don't really need to use it. We are absolutely smoking everything. Quince went uh, Mr. Universe there on uh, Gertie. Yeah, we don't even need to get the, uh, the charge key here. But I'm going to anyway, just because we need to just buy something uh, to give us some stats. We already have our golden key, so we're going to be able to go fight Mega Stanley. No problem at all. Uh, I guess we'll buy the sack because it's the most expensive. We get a 0.5 damage upgrade. Yo, that is awesome. Keeper sack is just... I mean, I, I've what more can I say about the item that I haven't already said a million billion times over? It is just, it is just absolutely goaded. It is that good. <laughs> I received an email from my home insurance company. They're like, hey, get ready for the fall. How to prepare for fall. Like, uh, bro, do you know it's like 119 degrees outside right now? I don't think anyone here is worried about prepping for fall. You know, like I, we got we got much bigger fish to fry, and they're frying outside on the pavement, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's like, it's way, way, way too early to even mention the word fall around here. That, that's going to get you in trouble around around these parts. You know, I know that you know, I've got I've got friends who are on uh, Facebook that are like prepping for, for, you know, pumpkin spice latte season and everything. I'm sitting here like, you know, it's, bro, it, it's, it's 110 degrees at 9 p.m. outside. Like, no, thank you. Taking to the I Am Angel deal. And we're just going to get a whole butt ton of HP here. Honestly, we could probably just skip straight to... I don't even know why I'm doing this. We could probably skip straight to... Uh, straight to the dark chest. Like, Tainted Lilith is that strong. I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to go to the item room, obviously, first. And we'll, we'll go to boss rush. But I think just... I think just like getting past the faffing about with uh, with womb and I mean everything. Just go. Let's just let's just send it. Just freaking send it. Hard. Right, I mean that is going to kill our movement speed, but it's more it's more red hearts, and that's just going to make us even tankier. A character that's already pretty pretty safe. Oh baby. Uh, I will buy this. And use the Book of Revelations. Two rooms. Okay, and there's our there's our tinted skull. So there's our boss rush skip. So between this and the full charge, we're gonna be able to. 
get back to full HP. Now we could use Diplopia inside of uh, inside of the boss rush, but I think that that's a I think that's a trap. I think that is a logistical trap that the game is setting for us because what I think the actual play should be is to use Diplopia in the dark chest on the Devil Deals before we go fight Mega Satan. Once we skip there via the sacrifice room. You're seeing here the tears rate from Yellow just I mean, it's just so good. <laughs> Epiphora is just is just amazing. Get the damage upgrade from taking the negative. We've already been in our angel deal. And piercing shots. Hmm. Piercing shots are compound fracture. Give me compound fracture. Give me compound fracture. Then what we can do is we can go back to the shop and grab Diplopia. This will be one of the fastest runs that we've ever had if we end up doing this. Let's see if we can get the first first tap skip here. That'd be nice. 50% chance for us to get skipped straight to the to the dark room. And here we are. Back dagger, too spooky, buddy lust, and D Bizzle. Not great, but you know what? It was free. And uh, if you ever wanted to see any proof of <laughs> just how unbelievably strong Tainted Lilith is right out of the gate, this would be your this this would be your your proof that you would, this is all the proof you need here. I'm gonna try to maintain the Epiphora tears buff as much as I can here with uh, Jello. As you can see, it doesn't require a whole lot of maintenance because he just, I mean, he's just a machine gun. Look at that. Maybe piercing shots was the way to go, but I'm liking this. And what's so nice about Jello and Epiphora is that you don't have to fire. You don't, you don't have to be looking in the, in the same direction in order to be firing in the same, in the same direction, holding it down. Like that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> like, I mean, this is so strong, dude. Epiphora might be one of the best items that you can get on Jello, on Tainted Lilith in general. We've shown, we have shown what it can do with Brimstone and Sacred Heart, and this is just another example of just how incredible it can be. We took a hit and we didn't even stop firing. Like it didn't even reset our tears right. You just have to be careful with the knockback of Compound Fracture, pushing stuff towards Isaac. Nice little cheeky use of a uh, sack dagger there if you didn't catch that. I mean, he, 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 he posted two bombs back to back to each other there. You don't have the movement speed, unfortunately, to dodge that. Even the shot speed and the range that we've got is just able. It keeps everything on the table for us in range of, of Jello. And Mega Satan is a Mega Satan is a fight where sensor does really kind of shine as an item. Admittedly. Although there are some waves like this one, which gets a little bit, a little bit muddy. We've seen there, it does slow down the velocity and ends the, uh, the duration of the time of the projectiles. As in like they fizzle out before they can really even get to Isaac. I 
again i'll give credit where credit's due sensor sensor is is a it, it's not okay it's not a trash item even though i jokingly called it trash the other day it's just not an item that i that i like to pick up in most situations you're seeing here what i'm what i'm talking about when i'm talking about the tier decay of mega satan and sensor is preventing those tiers from really traveling as far as they normally would have if we didn't have sensor so absolutely destroy mega satan there and hey look at that you got yourself your mega stan your mega stan random run day so i feel i mean obviously we're not going to end there but let's do a let's let's do a let's do a just a good old a good old eden greed run how about that for bonus content here on this sunday yeah Oh man, we have I we have head of the keeper in greed in this economy. Juliet nine two one four seven seven Yankee. Wow, we got great tiers, great damage, bad movement speed, but a decent space for item to have too. And uh, freaking head of the keeper, head of the head of the gut dang keeper. That you'd give us a little bit more on that. All right, so head of the keeper is very interesting in greed mode, just because we're going to be able to have a pretty reliable uh, source of extra money. And unlike greedier here, money is money is not plentiful, but it can be plentiful. Yeah, you just saw that right there. It's a little, you know, we got our we we got our little challenge done. I mean, it, we say challenge, but you know, tainted Lilith is. Tainted Lilith is, is just good. I mean, she's just that good. If you want a powerful character that you don't have to really be too dependent on items with, go Tainted Lilith. And she is she is just absolutely beast mode. I mean, you, like, that was... I mean, the Mega Satan fight did take a little bit longer than I thought, admittedly, but like that was still one of the fastest runs that we've had in quite a while. Yeah, that sack room... The sack room skip is uh, quite handy. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Excuse you. 24 cents off the first wave, and I will take that. Definitely want to get Roid Rage here. And uh, we'll go buy a key. Little Hushy. He's little and he's Hushy. He's little Hushy. Uh, Fat on Mushroom, I guess. I mean, it is going to it is gonna hurt our, our movement speed that we just got done buffing, but it does give us some damage. And then we also have uh, raw liver in there, which would actually, which have been hugely popular or hugely helpful before fighting this wave here. But we can still go back and go get it before our devil deal, which will give us enough HP, even that we don't lose it against Steven. Come on, spiders! Come on, spiders! There you go. There you go. There you go. Get into get into Dingle there. We'll, we'll easily be able to afford raw liver plus something else too. I guess this is gonna give us a nice full heal. We can also go play this. No, I'm not taking Thunder Thighs. We've already we've already heard our movement speed enough. And we get more movement speed. Who's our who's our other boss? Who's our other boss? Come on. I know I know I guess it's not polycephalus or pin. Just baby plum, that's it? Okay. They only gave us a one boss uh devil wave, so okay. I gotta complain about that. It's some Victor robes here. Another demon judgment too. I mean, I guess I'll take it only because we already have a syringe, and it killed our tears right. Well, it didn't kill it, but it definitely hurt it. But we're only one away from spun now, so. Yeah, very good floor. Uh, let's go check this curse room here. Got a bomb. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think we're going to get a nickel, but we might. Okay. 
All right. Good first floor here. First, the unknown, not that big of a deal. We do get a speed. By speed, I mean tears rate up. I don't know why I'm saying speed. Looking at the clock right now, it's only 25 minutes and 33 seconds in this run. We've, we've already done one run. Like, that's that's still crazy. Uh, I am going to go for the golden chest. Okay. We got two keys back and a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra refund there on our. Oh, baby. <laughs> Woo! All right. Sumptorium. And people who don't like Sumptorium are collectively rolling their eyes. People who do love Sumptorium are just cheering. Sumptorium. I mean, what What do you what do you want me to say about Sumptorium? It's becoming one of those items that like I'm just kind of known for loving. You know, first it was uh obviously Sissy and then it became the Teleport 2.0 and I'd say in recent years, more along the lines of uh, Brimstone and, and the like. But now, now, Sumptorium is becoming one of my, one of those items that I'm just kind of like associated with. And I'm fine with that. Because obviously Sumptorium is just like, it's just goaded. It is just goaded. Especially in Greed. I have no idea what our HP is at this point. So I'm not going to go too, too ham on Sumptorium. I think we really even need to at this point. We just, we created so much money. I didn't actually even mean to hit the button there. I was just trying to go collect money. Sumptorium is a, is an active item that you unlock by doing Tainted Eve unlocks. And uh, what it does, it will take a half heart, no matter if it's a red heart, bone heart, uh, rotten heart, although it can't take half of rotten hearts, just be aware of that. And it will turn it into a little cloddy. And these little cloddies act as, think of them as tiny incubi. And they will copy Isaac's shots and tears with all the stats and all the trimmings for the low, low cost of a half heart. And that is quite ridiculous. Amy Conception. Uh, I'd rather... No! I would rather honestly keep... I'd honestly rather keep our HP and save it for uses of Sumptorium. I don't know how much HP we have. Obviously, I just bought an HP upgrade, but I'm still not going to go into the curse room. But yeah, so we have plenty of HP here. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting into the we're getting into crazy town department now. To buy the tears rate upgrade here. Soy milk would be absolutely incredible. Get it? I don't have a key. Get a key here. Uh, we don't really need skinny out of mushroom. That's just going to destroy our our tier or our damage. Mister Me, which. Eh. I really need Mr. Me here. It is a half price pedestal, though, so we might as well take it. And I will take Champion Belt. Maybe we can steal this range upgrade. Good. Look at that. Uh, again, we don't want Black Hole, but. Yeah, I really. Like, I'm okay with you, like, stopping this whole spawn active thing for me. But uh, with Tech X now, this is just going to get even more crazy town. This, uh, this, is a, this has been a good day of runs, man. A good, a nice, lazy Sunday afternoon. see here notice how tech x is still producing coins thanks to head of the keeper despite us not having tears 
<laughs> oh my gosh, we just we just we just delete bosses. That is the power of Sumptorium, those overlapping volleys. If I started using Sumptorium right now, we would start getting the blue Claudies. Uh, thanks to us not having any more red hearts. Krampus fight, and he's already dead. And of course, we get Lump of Coal, which is just going to up the pain factor on the game even more. Uh, I mean, I guess. We don't really need Guppy here, but... Let's go ahead and top ourselves off, because we have essentially unlimited items at this point. It's ahead of the Keeper. Uh, yeah. Take divorce papers just to give us the tears up, and I will take an H or damage upgrade from Glass Eye. Yeah, we'll take stem cells too for a little bit of shot speed. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get another bomb out of these chests here. Nope. Perfect way to hang back. Oh my gosh, dude. What is this run, man? I mean, we, we can't even ask for a better start. This get sad bombs as well. I don't really care about the bone hearts. So let's keep going here. Oh, thanks. I'm disinclined to acquiesce that request. Might as well grab a key here while we're at it and see what's inside of this chest here. We got a bomb. Not really anything special. Uh, that would be a tears up, I believe. Now, the Claudies can die, as you just saw right there with the flies spawning on top of them. They can die, so they're not they're not totally indestructible, but as long as you have a good, a good amount of movement speed, they're practically indestructible. As long as you can navigate your way through and kill everything before they get a chance to fire. That's fine. So the one mega troll bomb just stole all of our Claudies. But unfortunately for you game, we've got uh, practically unlimited HP. You may take our Claudies, but you may never may never take our our win away from us. The skull X, I saw you. Head of the Keeper. I mean, the fact that the game started us with Head of the Keeper in a greed mode run just shows you that it just doesn't care about today. You know, it let us it let us random tainted Lilith on a Mega Satan run into a Head of the Keeper start. Like that is that's just insane. I'm all for it. Like, trust me, I'm all for it. Fred is super dead. Oh, yeah. All right. Get ourselves consolation prize. And I think that a uh, little, little bit of re-rolling here is in order. Eat twanky? Nah. Uh, sure, I guess. Take a movement speed upgrade, too. Why not? Now we could we take the D twenty, yeah, but over over Sumptorium, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ellie Jelly's gonna help us with. Oh my God, just, dude, just just forget about it. it. It's over. The game just the this game has just given up. This is what. This is what Isaac looks like when it just gives up. Holy Mantle, which we do not need. Sure, why not? 
when we have this amount of this amount of money at our disposal in a greed run why not you know and there's spun okay so we'll, we'll go get spun after this wave And keep in mind, we got magic mush before before chaos ever even arrived. Whoa, they're spawning bosses on us. Okay, a little bit of, little bit of a premature boss spawn there, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll let you go with the game. I mean, you've, you're ha you've had a rough day, you know. I understand. You shouldn't give up though. I mean, it's not like you're like you know, a team that had a bunch of hype bringing in a veteran quarterback and then him going out after only four plays in 75 seconds. So I guess in a way this confirms that Isaac is a Jets fan. Huh. Well, they're spun anyway, but I'm not going to give up HP for it because we're just going to go get it with speedball over here. Yes, I made a New York Jets reference. Yeah, sure. Take some flying, take some spectral tears. Probably should have picked up sack of pennies, honestly, but uh, yeah. Think it hurts, and sure, why not? Just because it was written in the prophecy of the meme of the day. Mama ain't raised no fool unless. Unless we're like in an unbeatable situation. <laughs> uh, I mean, we could we could take sulfur before we go fight uh, ultra greedy. Take a fame as well. I'm trying to save my Claudies the best I can. This is, I mean, triple frail and they didn't even, they didn't even, they didn't even get out of the starting block. I am a little bit mad that we just lost like four Claudies right there, though. Okay, how many hands are you going to drop, game? And we get the stapler. The stapler is a lot of damage. We got enough money to just replenish that damage or re replenish that uh, HP. We don't need bombs. So I'll take a Thame. Um, I will take Sulfur, but I'm gonna wait on taking him because obviously we want to use uh, we want to use Sumptorium. All the voids actually a no go here for me. It would give us Leviathan. Honestly, I also think that uh, I think that Proptosis is, is off the table here. Empty vessel does give us three Soul Hearts. Bag of crafting. Eh, it would have been fine earlier in the run, but. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah. And. We'll take Sulfur just to give us Mega Brim. Oh boy. I mean, have you ever seen a greed run where the game just, get, just gave up? Faster than this run. Like seriously, this is th this is ridiculous, in all the best ways. By the way, I'm not complaining. This is this is like this is something that you know we kind of needed. We had a couple of rough of rough starts, a couple of rough runs, that uh, you know thanks to our mental fortitude we ended up passing anyway, of course. But 
they they take a lot out of people it, it was just like i said yesterday I, like when i'm not in the mood to go through another run like that i mean then we get a run like this and even though we made it we made made it work yesterday eventually this is like th this is just all hands on deck get ready for a fun time here we go so we maximize our clots here and uh we are going to absolutely wreck ultra greed Like, get ready, because this is not even going to be fair. <laughs> we are... We are firing rainbow planets at Ultra Greed here. He's actually healing because we have head of the keeper and it's it's causing coins to drop. And we're still out DPSing him. I never actually thought about how bad of a situation head of the keeper could put you in until now. But again, we're doing so much overwhelming damage that it doesn't matter. I don't really want to try to get these coins that's dropping just because like I don't want to lose our clots. We've already lost a lot of our clots, but as you see, it doesn't really matter. A Thame going absolute beast mode on Ultra Greed. Thank you for watching everyone. Wow, what an what an incredible run. So today's question of the episode is what are your Sunday plans today? Let me know in the comments down below whoever had the most interesting weekend or interesting Sunday plans. Uh, we'll probably get the most upvotes, and I'll read the next top three upvoted on next week's episode, as always. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great Sunday afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And thank you for supporting the channel. As always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine, like Happy B-Day Nash, Greg Davis, and Rick Rue 59 if you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.